You did it. Congratulations. You followed your dreams and you started your professional beauty career. Things are going well and you're seeing a lot of growth in your business until one day you get a notification that a customer has left a one-star review. What should you do? Here are five suggestions. One, don't take it personal. Not everyone will be amazed with your work and that's okay. With every client, you always want to have a spirit of excellence. Be well prepared and do the best job possible. But the truth is, not everyone will like you or your work. Empower yourself in this situation by taking their words as constructive criticism. Use what they say to help make the necessary improvements so that you're better for the next client. Two, think long-term. It's so tempting to respond in kind to a former client who chooses to blast your work publicly, but don't. Resist the urge. This is business, so you have to think wisely and play the long game. When you respond, keep in mind that your response will be publicly visible forever on the World Wide Web. Potential clients may form a bad opinion of you based on your response if it comes across as too negative. Instead, be apologetic about the bad experience and express how improvements concerning their grievances will be made in the future. Send a private message to the client to discuss the details of the service for more clarification. 3. Respond as soon as possible. After you have ascertained the issues expressed by the client and have calmed down from the initial shock of a bad review, construct your perfect response and reply within 48 hours of the client's posted complaint. 4. Be apologetic and empathetic. Acknowledge the issues raised by the client and be apologetic and empathetic. Also write a statement that expresses your commitment to excellence and growth as such statements make a good impression on the potential client interested in how you respond to the negative complaint. Five, keep posting pictures of your work. The best way to combat negativity aimed at the quality of your work is to keep posting pictures. This strategy allows potential clients to see your work for themselves and may mitigate the negative review that was written about you. Robert Greene, author of 48 Powers of Law, states that the ninth law is to win through your actions, never through argument. It is much more powerful to get others to agree with you through your actions without saying a word. Demonstrate, don't explicate. So much, it's like, oh my goodness. Oh, I've never had my hair so short before and I love it. Yes, you were Ready? Yeah. A client said this about an Indiana hair salon. I would give this a one star review, but the people here are very friendly and seem to be trying hard. So two stars. That being said, I just got the worst haircut of my life. My wife has been cutting my hair for years. She has zero training, but does a good job. I needed a trim and a cleanup in a pinch and thought I'd go to a professional. I told the stylist this and asked her to cut it so it would keep some of the wave and curls. Before I knew it, the stylist was trimming my hair to the scalp. I guess she did her best. I could tell she knew she had messed up, but alas, I didn't have the heart to tell her how bummed I was because she seemed like a sweetheart. When I got home, you should have seen the look on my wife's face. She really loved the way my hair had been. It'll be months before I get it back. And here is the haircut result. I can understand his concern. However, this isn't a haircut that can't be fixed. I would blend the sides in and even out the top. Here's how the salon responded. Hey there. Thanks for giving us this review. 
We'd love the chance to get more info from you to better improve your next visit with us. If you'd like to discuss this further, please fill out a form at the negatively reviewed salon maintain their composure, thank the client for their review, and offer to discuss more privately so that future services conducted will meet expectations. Great response. This client rated her salon experience one star and pled the fifth when asked about the details of her service. Sheesh, that bad, huh? The salon owner graciously responded with this. We're sorry to see you're ready. If you'd like to share more, please email with the details and location or call us at We will get in touch with you from there. Thank you. This succinct counter to the client included an apology, contact information to reconcile the situation, and thanked them for their patronage. Great response. This client left a one-star rating but didn't explain or give details about their experience. The clever salon owner responded with this. Hello, thanks for giving us this review. We'd love the chance to get more info from you to better improve your next visit with us. Please contact. This was a cool, calm, and collected response by the salon owner. Finally, we have a client who left a one-star rating and wrote the following. Left my hair uneven. Went in for just a trim. My hair, which was once halfway down my back, was left shoulder length. Very disappointed. Had to go back to fix the unevenness. Well, at least she went back. But unfortunately, the salon owners left her on red and didn't respond to her concerns. Hopefully the client's issue was resolved. I recommend responding to all reviews of your business, good and bad. So there you have it, stylist. At some point in our career, we will have someone give us a bad review. How you respond will determine a victorious outcome.